Hey friends, sorry for the lack of sound. I wasn't sure this was really working. Um, thank you for joining me tonight for a sympathy card class. I'm going to be using the prized peony stamp set along with the dies that coordinate, specifically this one, and I've already used this one um, for the edges of this card. See how pretty that is? So, if you are ready, I think we could get started. I'm going to put this aside. Also, I'm going to tell you that um, I also am using, and I don't see what I did with it. Oh, I do hate that. Oh, it's right here. I'm also you going to use Heal Your Heart, which is a free stamp set with celebration. So, when you order this bundle, Right here, you can get this bundle for free and double your sentiments that you're able to use. This stamp set is just so pretty and it's so fun for so many things, including um, scrapbooking. My sister-in-law is a scrapbooker and she really likes this, I think. So this is the first card we're gonna make. It says, sorry for your loss. And on the inside, it says, my thoughts are with you. So let's get started. I started with some heavy white card stock and I cut my other elements and they're just gonna layer on here like so when I actually glue them down. And oops, I forgot to cut one thing, but let's see if this just fits in the middle. Okay, I was gonna cut out the middle of this and put this piece underneath, but I think I cut the center piece so well that I can just leave it like that. So we just need to stamp. We're going to stamp this large flower, which I think is so pretty. My icky cold thing is almost gone. I'm just clearing my throat a little today. Okay, and we're gonna use Blushing Bride and we're gonna use Hair Pizzazz. But you know, I might just use my smaller ones for what I'm gonna do. I have these little ink spots that I have saved from my paper pumpkins. You can also purchase our ink spots and ink them yourself. You can get empty ones and ink them yourself or some of them come um, already colored. It just depends on which one you're getting. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the Blushing Bride up on the flowers and this bud down here. And try to make sure I cover that well. And then I'm going to use the pear pizzazz and do the leaves and the stem and those little leaves and right in there. Okay, and I think there's one little leaf right here that I did pink, but I'll try and make it green. All right, so having that done, we're going to flip this over and just stamp this right here on my white card stack. And I'm gonna push to be sure I get a good image. Oh, I did get a nice image. Okay, I'm gonna put the stamp aside and I'm gonna just scissor trim this real quick. All right, I'm just gonna scissor trim that off of there and I'll save that because I will need that for my sentiment later. And I'm going to grab out my, ah, I'm stretching here, sorry guys, my baby stamp and emboss because I need to cut this die. Sorry, one of my plates did not want to come out with me. I had to tell it I insisted. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna use this little Stampin' Emboss machine. 
because this die is going to fit right in here and I think that's wonderful. That way I don't have to get out the bigger one. I do like using this little baby. He's so portable and easy. And just like it's Big Brother, all the plates are numbered and tell you what you need to use to do whatever. Because you can also use some of our smaller embossing folders with this machine. Okay. See how quick and easy he is? Let me pop that right back down there. And separate my layers. Pop these right back down there. Everything you need to use the stamp, the cut and emboss machine um, comes with it. So you don't really need to purchase anything extra. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I think the one thing I might do is grab my marker and fill in just a little bit over here, but not even too much because I don't want to mess it up. And I think that did it. I was just missing that little edge and he was going to bother me. So on the back of this, I'm going to use dimensionals to make this pop a little off of the page. And I'm cutting my edges for some of these narrower parts over here. So I'll just put that little piece right there and that'll work. Okay, but before we go on, I'm going to go ahead and put these parts together. I am using the, oh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's basically the peony paper that matches the die set, the bundle. And it is so pretty, too. There are so many pretty, pretty papers in this set. And I am not showing you the best of the best. I'm showing you what worked with this design. But seriously, the papers for this are just so pretty. Okay, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do these really pretty, pretty flowers. And I'm still using my stamp and seal there. I'm sorry, I don't think it's stamp and seal. It's, eh, I don't know what this, yeah, it is stamp and seal, as in stampin' up seal. <laughs> sorry. Okay, and then I, ha I cut this with our, um, one of our die sets, which I use all the time. I think it's called Ornate Lacy Dies. I cannot tell you how often I use this die. I just love it. Okay, and then right on top of that, because we are so not done yet making layers, I'm going to do more of that gray from the background, and I'm just going to try and center it right in the middle there. I think we did pretty good. Next, I'm going to pull the backs off here, put that over there, and one more, come on guy. Make sure I got them all. Oops. Yep, got them all. And I'm going to put this right up here. See how pretty that is? Okay, so I'm going to take this little guy. And truly, I should be using my cutter. I might get this crooked. And this was a little bit that was left over. I'm going to pull out, sorry for your loss. Um, the stamp right here and get out some basic gray ink. I should probably cut this down. I say going ahead and stamping it. So that's going to be my sentiment. Let me see if I can get my cutter out of its little be whole without knocking everything over. And let's see if I can cut this. Here we go. So I'm going to cut that. Ooh, I did not do a good job of cutting that evenly to begin with. So let's even off the edge. And I know you probably can't see what I'm doing. I'm probably off the edge of the desk and I apologize. 
pushed down. That's better. I wanted to try and center that after I had stamped it. Okay, I'm just going to put the this guy back behind me. Do you know what? I should have left this a little longer. We're not going to use that one. We're going to use this. It's our triple banner punch. And the reason it's a triple, called a triple, is because you can put different sizes in there quite easily. Now, I'm just going to turn this around and line it up and punch. And I sometimes forget and call these stamps. And if I did, I apologize. It's our triple banner punch. All right. Now, what I'm going to do with this is put it right up underneath there. And the third one of these I've made, and the third time I've got that in the wrong place. So I guess that means, if nothing else, I'm consistent because I keep messing it up exactly the same. Which is sort of funny really but okay so I'm just going to push that down it's going to stay there I think it needs just a touch of ribbon but nothing to overwhelm it so I'm going to use this pretty Swiss dot and make a little faux bow knot thing and twist this around yeah. I didn't cut it very long and now it's like yeah, we don't want to come out on you. All right. Okay, here we go. I got that tied into a little knot. I'm going to reach over and try and grab a glue dot. I had some exploding glue dots last week. It was really unpleasant. Everywhere I looked, I had a glue dot. So what I want to do with this one is put half of it on there and then fold it over because it's, you know, a little bit bigger than the spot I want to put this. And I want to put it right there. And then the last thing for this card, along in the catalog, along with um, the dies, the paper, the stamp set, with this peony set, we also have really, really, really pretty pretty these are called faceted gems and I really like these a lot so I'm gonna try and not stick them there but rather put them on the card and I'll put a little one up here and a little one right there I think that's good. I don't want to overdo it. But these are really neat and they come with the clear faceted, the um, light, light pinkish faceted, and then the white. I like these a lot. <clears throat> okay, now this was our first card. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the inside. Duh, this is not our first card. This is almost our first card. Our first card needs um, these two stamps. This one says, my thoughts are with you. And again, I'm going to do that in basic gray. All right, I'm going to try and put this on a little straighter. And see how we do. Good. That's exactly how I wanted it to do. Okay. And I'm just going to move this over here onto a different block so I can clean it in a few minutes and close this guy up. And remember the first color we used was Blushing Bride. So I'm going to grab this Blushing Bride and ink that up. And that's going to go right behind the words just to add a little something to the inside. So that's card number one. Let me move all the parts for card number one out of the way. And we'll take a look at card number two. I think I'm going to need, nope, I don't think I'll need that gray again. I think I'm using black in the next one. Okay, so bye card number one. And hello card number two. Card number two, this is it. And it's the same, the same stamp, 
Only this time, we're not going to cut this out. We're just going to color it in. And it has more of that same background paper. And then I did the inside just a little bit different. And the sentiments I use this time for this card, they're from the Heal Your Heart, which again is free with, you know, until the end of the month. I need to tell you that, I guess. Uh, celebration ends on the last day of February. And the way Celebration works is for every $50 in merchandise you order, you get to pick a free Celebration item. And there's an entire catalog of Celebration items. So I know you don't want to miss out on that. All right, I've already die cut the pieces just like I did before. And this time I'm going to use black Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. And that's because I want to use some um, of our Stampin' Blends and their alcohol markers. So when you're using regular ink, you want to, you know, like regular markers or ink, you want to use stays on. But when you're using anything with alcohol, any kind of alcohol marker, you want to use the Memento. I couldn't remember that in the beginning when I first started doing this. So I literally put a note into the notes in my cell phone. All right, I'm just gonna kind of place this and roughly figure it out. There we go. And I put this piece of white paper and it's just printer copier paper underneath because I didn't want to um, stamp on my desktop, which I have done before. All right, so what I'm going to use with this are the Rococo Rose alcohol markers, and they come as a set, and there's a dark and a light. So what I'm going to do first is take this light, or I'm sorry, take this dark, and everywhere that there's shading with the black on the flower, I'm going to color this in. And I'm trying to go a little faster than I normally would. So bear with me if I'm not as neat as I might like to be. But I don't want you to wait while I do one of my, I have 30 minutes to color this and I'm going to use every minute of it. Because, you know, that would not be fun for you at all. I love our alcohol markers. I love how they blend. We have a lifter. So if you get too much color in an area, you can lift it out. And that's one of the things I really like because I do have to lift out color sometimes. All right, this will help by coloring the darker spots. It's going to help define um, the petals, or at least that's my hope. I think that one's green, so why don't I not color it pink? or excuse me, Rococo Rose. Okay. The last time I did this, I forgot to do the bud. I just kind of moved on and had to go back and do it later. So why don't I skip that do it later thing and do it now. Okay, does that look pretty good? I mean, I could do more, but I'm trying not to you know, make you wait forever while I do this. By the way, these are double-ended. There is <clears throat> like a writing end, and then there's the brush end. And I'm using the brush end to do this because I want to, you know, kind of blend and fill in. And yep, that was me going out of the line, so. I might show you how that color lifter works in just a minute. And no, that absolutely wasn't planned. I'd prefer to stay inside, but I'm not sure I'm doing it that well. I hope wherever you live that your weather is better than it has been. Um, we haven't had it too bad here in South Carolina. What we have had is a lot of rain and all the snow just missed us. 
so I guess we can't complain except, you know, I grew up in the north. I kind of like the snow at least once a year. So. Though Texas, I bet you don't want to see snow again forever. Oops, see, I always forget about the bud down here. I got quite ready to move on. I was enjoying my my blending in up there and just almost left this little guy not finished. All right, I really like that. So I'm gonna grab the white, and this is actually color lifter. I'm going to go up here and just try and do a little bit right across there where I went out. And look at that! Lifting it right up. Yay! Color lifter is awesome. Okay, well, I put this aside for a second. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I just had a thought, you know, I didn't, I was wondering what this would look like this way. Nah, it needs the darker. Thought I'd play while I had you here. Uh oh, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna put that out of my way. Put that out of my way and get my other stamp set out here. And what I want is sorry for your loss. And um, wish I could heal your heart. How pretty is that? So with this guy, I'm going to put him on a little block and try to put him on here straight. Though you know what? Duh, i got to put him face down if I want this to work. Okay, it's not quite straight. That's better. And with this one, I'm just going to put him on this block. And again, I'd like it to be kind of straight. We'll see. I'm going to use the same memento ink I have out already and the reason I'm using this is because I want it to be black down here. Forgive me if my head gets in this picture. I just want to be sure that's going on there and it did. Yay! All right, and the other place this goes is going to be right inside the card. I have two stamping up bone folders and do you think I can find either one of them? It's kind of crazy how I keep losing them. In my scrap room, I might add. It has not gone out of here, either of them. Okay, so I inked that. Now I'm going to try and center. I should have measured, but I didn't. Actually, I'm going to go with that's not bad. Now that same little piano we used earlier, I'm going to grab the ink back out. And again, I'm going to use this as a background. And it looks like it stamps right behind there. Okay. So, I'm going to burnish that score one more time. Take our background. Oh, nope, nope, that's not the background. This is the background background. And this is just our black cardstock. Okay. So, this guy is going to go right here with just some edges. And I cut this so that... Um, I cut it five and a half by four. My card is 11, scored at five and a half, so it's five and a half by four and a quarter. So I cut this at five and a half by four, so I have a little edge. And this I also cut at five and a half by four, but then I used that really pretty border die and cut off the edges so that it would have this really pretty scallop. And what you probably can't see, I'll hold it up and see if you can maybe, is it has a little bit of um, embossing in with that, which I think is so nice. All right, where are you? Oh no, don't tell me I ran out. I don't want to run out just yet. Yay, got it. And there, and there. All right, let's see if I can get this centered in here. 
I may be able to, and I may not. I don't know. Okay, that's not bad. That's probably not perfect, but I don't need perfect. I just need it to go in there. Now this piece is going to go right here, but first I'm going to grab some of this um, green, mossy meadow green uh, braided twine. It's linen braided and let's kind of separate it a little bit and you can see that it's, you know, got a braid going. And what I'm going to do with this, oh no, no, duh, Susan, I forgot to color in the green. Guys, why didn't one of you yell at me to do that? All right, so I'm just going to kind of quickly, quickly go over this. I can't believe I didn't color in that green. It's going to tell you the green matches the marker I used, except I clearly forgot to use the marker. Sorry. Glad I caught that before we went any further. And these little guys. And I could do, you know, the double layer, the dark and the light green, like I did with the flower. But to be, to be honest, the flower is more the part that I want to show. So I'm just filling these in monochromatically and let it be just this one shade of mossy meadow. Okay. There because this to me is the part I want to pop. Goodness, I'm just trying to forget part of this. All right, now, as I was saying, we're going to tie this around here. And then just double check that, no, it's twisted. That's not cool. All right, let's do a flat, 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 flat. Hmm, I don't know why I'm holding my hands funny to do this. I'm just going to mess up simply because of the way I'm holding the twine. Goodness. It's because I'm live. When I'm not live, you know, I can just do whatever. But I'm live. I'm going to also tell you this is much easier to knot than to bow, but I wanted it to be a bow, so... I'm struggling through. There we go. And when I say there we go, what I really mean is there we go, but I'm going to play with it a little bit longer until I really like it. Okay, now I'm going to put some of those same Stampin' Dimensionals on the back that I used previously. As I say, if these don't peel off, you can always use um, your piercing tool and it just pokes right into them and pulls them up. Okay, so here we go. This one's going to go right on top and I hope it's sort of straight. I think it's a little crooked, but there we go. There we go. And that's card number two. And these were both made with this beautiful prized peony set. So what I'm going to show you next, I'm going to put these right here and I'm going to turn around to my computer and see if I can get my mouse to wake up. And I'm going to show you um, a couple of things you might need to know. First is ah uh, where'd it go? I don't know where it went. Goodness. Okay, goodness. I'm trying. All right, my screen share stopped. Let's try again. Oh no, I lost the one I wanted to share. All right, let me see if I can find it. And of course my phone is ringing. That's not cool. Let me see if I can just hang this up. All right. Um, yeah, I'll give you this first then. This is 
the Okay, so I'm trying to show you real quickly. There it is, the hostess code. And then the next thing I want to show you is a list of supplies I used. So if you decide to make these cards, all you have to do is, you know, order the basic supplies. Remember to take the free the free items. And then the last thing is use this host code. Right underneath where you check out, you'll see a host code. And so this will be there for you. Now I want to stop sharing. And I want to try again with a different one. And this is share. This is the list of supplies that I used. So hopefully you'll be able to see this and maybe take a screenshot or, um, you know, something. Uh oh, oh, there it is. So take a screenshot of this or, um, you know, whatever you need to do to secure that you have everything you need to make this project. The first four items are from the Peony, sorry, the Peony bundle. And then down below, I listed other items that I also used. So let's see if I can get back over here and stop the share. And there we are, and they're crooked, sorry. Um, thank you for joining me today. And I hope you all have a good evening. Good night.